Well, actually, uh, my father is, is the one who invested. He bought La Presse. And uh, he bought it really because Lord Thompson of Fleet told him it was a very good business, and he was friends with Lord Thompson of Fleet. And, and so the newspaper became available. He bought it, and effectively it was a good business. It really was. I mean, I don't think the future of that business is the same. And that's one of the reasons why we've decided to reinvent the paper. And we've created a new tablet now. And uh, that new tablet's going to be a very different medium. It's going to be a newspaper, yes, but it'll be a blend between a newspaper, a magazine, and a television station that you'll be able to kind of, you know, finger your way through the process to be able to get whatever you like on, on an interactive basis, depending on what the viewer likes best or what the reader likes best. And without the employees and the, and the unions and our management, we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't be there. But yes, it is innovative. It is different. We came to the conclusion that only uh, global marks uh, and global, really strong brands uh, could, uh, could survive uh, in that business uh, through the internet. It's important, I think, for any society to have a number of diverse opinions and a number of uh, diverse outlets to be able to, uh, for individuals to be able to form their opinions. La Press is uh, very involved in, in allowing debate to take place and allowing different opinions to be put forward so that people can read about them, can educate themselves about subjects, and then after that they can make up their minds and hopefully we'll have a better society for it. So we're very proud of the contribution that we've made in the past and, and, and we intend, of course, to continue that contribution and hopefully it could be even more exciting now with our, with our new uh, tablet.